Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Dr. Tony Tony Chopper, and today we are celebrating 200 subscribers on the channel. I never thought that the channel would blow up like this before, but thank you for everyone that has been supporting me. It really, really means a lot. And to commemorate that, we are doing a special unboxing for the White Glint VOB set movie color version from Kotobukiya and the series Armored Core. Now, a quick little backstory of why I even picked this guy up. Firstly, I'm gonna put a little bit of a disclaimer out there. I know nothing about Armor Core, but he just looks too damn awesome. I saw the video, um, this could be right up here, of him blowing crap up in his little CG short, and it looked absolutely amazing. So I had to get him. This guy is in 170 second scale, and he's incredibly awesome. Um, the box is really, really thick and really, really massive. And it's going to be my first Kotobukiya kit I've ever built. So there are going to be a couple differences. And the only thing I do have to base my uh, judgments and assumptions off of are um, of the Master Grade kits and whatnot I've made from Bandai. And with the price tag that this guy holds, he's going to be compared to those. Now this guy sells for a staggering 9,800 Japanese yen. Now originally the White Glint just by himself was released back in 2009, but then about a year later uh, Kotobukiya decided to actually go and give you the VOB set with the giant Vanguard Overboost thing in the back, which looks absolutely amazing. Um, and I picked this guy up about a year ago, but never really had the chance to go and uh, build him. So this is most likely, uh, I think, production run 3 or 4, maybe 5. Um, but recently, 2013, November 2013, the sixth production run of him should be coming out. And uh, for those of you who weren't able to get him before, you might be able to get him now. Now here is the side. We first see a nice front shot of him, a back shot of him with a nice stand, so that's a huge bonus. Um, also the Vanguard Overboost, the VOB, uh, looks very very nice on the back. Looks really menacing. Uh, personally I can't wait to get started. In terms of weapons, we do get um, this gun, a smaller looking gun, some can't pronounce that, and also a horn that you can shove onto his head. I assume. Moving along over here, I'm sorry guys if I don't actually know any of the terms because I haven't played it again, so don't judge me. Um, it just looks too cool to pass up. Here is the head unit. Uh, right here is the core of the white glint, the core. Uh, down here are the arms, which look pretty nice with the white hands, and also them legs, those sexy looking legs. Over here we also have some more stuff. Um, showing you some of the gimmicks, saying that, you know, these things can actually pop out and show some of that, uh, I don't know, like venting or something? Someone in the comments, please tell me. And over here, all, of the, all the different things in the back right here can actually open up, um, revealing that it can actually, you know, have that thruster going out forward. Um, and here is a sample photo of the unpainted kit. Uh, looks relatively... Uh, plain in my opinion and uh, you can actually kind of see how that gloss pearl coat actually looks because it is a movie version it is gonna be a little bit different over on this side it is explaining how you can move some things out and whatnot collapse things together and also over here you get a uh, a three different thing uh, display base really uh, it's what you're gonna put things on it's really cool with this insignia with the eye. And over here we have some decals. I'm not sure what these are going to look like. I've never built one of these kits, so maybe these this is a decal sheet, maybe it's just a sticker sheet, who knows. Down below we have, um, it also has an art book. So that's gonna be cool to look at. We're gonna spend some time there. And off to the side we get, you know, the white glint again, painted up right here and um, what it looked like in that CG thing. That very cool CG movie over there and on this side here are a whole bunch of different caution things a um, whole bunch of stuff I can't really read but there are there is some English you know just make sure that you are over 14 years old so if you guys are 13 don't you dare buy this kit the tops and the bottoms of this kit are going to be pretty much the same uh, with pretty much the front shot just put off to the side a little bit and yeah you get two of these and again it is made by Kotobukiya, 
and the price in MSRP is stated here again. It is massive. All right, it's time to unbox this guy. You gotta open him up real quick. And voila, inside, first thing we see is the art book. Um, looks really nice, the visual artworks. We're gonna take a look at this a little later. Over here, we have this nice pearl gloss color. Hopefully this is showing up. So it's incredibly glossy. Um, a whole bunch of parts here, all in this nice white. More here. Um, there's a lot of different parts to this. This is kind of cool. Um, also, there's a nice black here. Uh, black, dark gray, something like that. Uh, parts for the stand, or the base. A whole whack of poly caps. Um, a ki kind of like an inner frame here. Uh, that's cool. Um, more poly caps over here, a see-through part, and we, I guess we have the option to put in the blue see-through part or the, you know, clear see-through part there. Um, here we have, a, I guess these are parts for the uh, VOB booster, the Vanguard Overboost set booster thing. We got some thrusters back here and some, like, I don't know, piping-ish things. Um, I'm assuming these go for some joints. And down at the bottom we get um, three of these, so you're going to have to put these together. And it says right here, White Glint and Vanguard over Overd Boost. And it looks like we're going to have to do some cutting. Here are some wires um, or cable or tubing that you're going to have to put into the back of the uh, Vanguard Over Boost. On this side, here we get more of the outer armor parts. Uh, these look like they belong on the shoulders. Uh, I'm assuming parts for like the arm... Uh, actually, I'm not too sure. Uh, we get the hands right here, that's good. I know what those look like. That's really nice. Um, we get more arm We get more armored up parts on the side. Crotch parts, uh, leg area parts. I'm assuming these might be for the arms, I could be wrong. And there's a whole bunch of antenna pieces. I'm assuming this goes onto the front somewhere. Okay, never mind. These are for the legs right here. Um, looking very, very menacing. Although very white and pure at the same time. Double. We get two of those. Okay, we get the core. Um, the core is right here. Parts for the, uh, the backpack little area. I'm assuming these are for um, pieces for the shoulders. And here, um, some propellant tank goodness, and yeah, not looking like we're getting many colors. It's just white, this grayish color, maybe some black. So dark, I can't really see what that is. And uh, yeah, uh, we got some weapons down here, some guns, machine guns, whatnot, and a very hefty manual. Now in front of me here is five different plates. They go from A all the way down to D, two D plates, and we mainly get parts for the outer armor. Um, all these plates are going to have this pearl coating, or special movie coating. You might be able to see it, but in real life it is kind of, um, yeah, it's very pearly, and kind of looks like a candy-coated uh, finish. So, mainly parts of the chest and whatnot here for the A. We have arm parts and shoulder parts for the B. We mainly get some leg parts and uh, some other parts here. I'm trying to try to keep this part a little shorter and just get on with the review, the main part of the review. And also here with our D plates, they're mainly parts of the legs. As you can see, there's not too much in a frame. It looks like it's got to resemble a lot of what a high grid would. All of this is in this really dark gray color, if not black. And we have a whole bunch of different parts. Uh, they all look the same, and they're mainly for inner frame. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, we do have a bit of ABS plastic here, though. On this runner, the eye runner, it is ABS, and it looks like they're mainly going to be parts for joints and whatnot. Now, the rest of it, it's mainly just going to be inner frame. Not too special here on this G plate. A lot of stuff for thrusters and whatnot. You can see some of the detail there. As I said, we're keeping this short. 
and here on our H plate more inner frame parts a lot of different things some uh, vent things that we saw earlier so it's clear to me that we will not be getting a transformation gimmick for that portion at all and uh, we get two runners of guns so here is the M plate with this really cool looking gun and um, it's pretty much one gun on one side another gun on this side so that looks pretty awesome um, fair bit of detail on there um, one thing I have noticed between the two companies is already in all these parts you see so much more mechanical detail but in terms of engineering I'm pretty sure Bandai is ahead of them in that regard though And lastly here, some inner frame for mainly the leg and a bit of what I am assuming is the waist section. So, yeah, not too much going on. The same gloss or pearl white continues in our E plates and our N plates. We get two duplicates of those. And um, we have a lot of covers for the back of the VOB or the shoulder mount area for all the thrusters and whatnot. And um, yeah, I'm assuming those are some shoulder parts. And here we mainly have parts for the covers. Um, you know, the things that I said that were going to come out before with the vents. But it's just some plug and play action there. So there are parts forming or whatnot. And um, kind of a thruster part that you got to put something else inside. So, very, very simple. And a lot of uh, high grade S goodness so far. We also have some polycap goodness. We get two mega sheets right here. Hopefully you can see it with the black background. I'll put my hand there. And also a smaller one. I'm assuming the smaller one is for the VOB unit, but I have been wrong before. And um, yeah, never actually used polycaps from them. So hopefully they compare with Bandai's. Keeping with the same color scheme as the rest of the main body, the VOB set or the VOB unit has the exact same colors. This dark, dark gray, if not black, we get duplicate runners of this, and um, they're mainly just little add-on parts right here. Um, I don't even know what they would call it, kind of like a structure type thing, and other areas where you'd mount. Um, I'm assuming you're going to put things like, oh heck, I don't know. And we also get two thrusters on here, so looking good. It's a very, very uh, non-colorful kit. For the white color or the pearl color for the rest of the VOB unit, we have it here. We have the A, B, and the D runners, two duplicate of those. And mainly we have propellant tank type things going on and whatnot. It looks relatively good. <clears throat> and um, yeah, very, very highly detailed on this. Hopefully you guys can see. There's a lot of detail on each and every single piece, which is a very, very different step up. And over here, we have more propellant tank goodness, a whole bunch of different cables and whatnot, tubing that you're going to be slapping onto the kit, and an H. Lastly, over here, we have some ball cover area things, mainly going to be the backside of the VOB unit, of course, because this thing has a trillion different propellant tanks, or whatever they call it in the game. And um, yeah, looking very, very good, very, very solid. Hopefully you guys will be, will be able to see the detail on camera. If not, when I build it, I'm going to show you guys there. But as you can see, there's so much stuff here. It looks very, very detailed indeed. And here we actually have the stand. Now, these are gonna be the base for the stand. They have like this um, painted on decal or whatever you call it on there. There's three of these, I only unboxed one. And on this one, it does tell you what it is. The White Glint and Vanguard Overboost, or VOB unit, or set, whatever. And um, here is basically the arm you're going to put it on. It is relatively thick and pretty solid looking. I don't know how this is going to work, though. It is a quite a big kit. And, um, yeah, no real ABS or anything here, so hopefully it'll stand up really well, because the thing is massive. And now rounding out the parts, we have kind of like the cockpit or the core or whatever thing you want to call it. We have two colors here, see-through blue and a see-through white or see-through clear. They're, they are the J parts, J runner, very, very small runner. You can change them, do whatever you want. Um, but honestly, you could just kind of paint this yourself into this if you really want to. And also we have some of that tubing. I kept it in here because it's going to be really hard for you to see otherwise. And, um, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything inside of it. It looks quite hollow and um, pretty easy to bend for the most part. You're going to have to cut this up and measure measure properly. Remember they say, measure twice, cut once. So make sure you don't mess up. But you do get quite a bit of real estate to work with. 
and I'll tell you if you do actually get any extras left over afterwards. All right, here is our water slide deckle sheet. Now, for something this big, we're getting a very small sheet, at least in my opinion. Nothing compared to what a uh, master grade Katoki kit would be like, but here it is. Uh, we get some very big markings down here for the model number and whatnot. So it looks really good, and get some cautionary markings and whatnot there too. No step. No step. Hope you got that. Now, right here I have the visual arts works book. It's mainly just a catalog. It does show a couple things off, but um, just to show you guys, on the bottom here it does say the price in Japanese yen and also the year that it's been released. So I'm just going to quickly go through most of these. Um, pretty much all the kits in the Armor Core line are uh, 70 second scale or 170 second scale, and there's a whole bunch of different ones. I'm not really going to go too long into this, but here we are. Um, and then here, making a variable infinity. Uh, yeah, some good stuff here. Another kit you might know. I'm going to butcher the name, so I'm not going to say it. And yeah, some really good stuff. And right here, uh, here is the white glint by himself. And he did come out, right here it says, in 2009 for a lower price point as well. And if you flip to the back, we also have the VOB unit being sold separately as well. It came out another four months after in 2009, so kind of cool what they did there. And yeah, this is basically just a catalog showing off all their stuff. And um, yeah, at the bottom here, it says not for sale, so try not to sell this. Alright, here is the assembly manual. Now, it looks very, very nice up front here with the white glint, pretty much looking really good with all that shade there. And it states that it's Armored Core Variable Infinity on the inside, or whatever. Over here, parts, data list, I'm assuming something to do with the game, it's going to be similar to that, you know, how everything gets segmented up, not sure, someone please comment. And over here we have an action, action sh splash art shot or whatever, uh, but it does look like the pearl gloss color isn't really coming out too well here, so I am assuming it has been painted. Here is a parts list. And um, yeah, jump, jumping straight into this, the, the stuff here. Got some leg going on, core, whatnot. And yeah, I'm basically gonna try to keep this a little shorter. And um, that one gimmick that we did, I did mention a couple times already, this is not gonna pop out or anything. Right here, you're gonna add a separate piece inside of there. A little bit disappointing, but on a Bandai kit that's a master grade quality, that might have actually been a real gimmick that pops out. Um, how you'd assemble the stand here and also the transformation bits. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep this short so you guys can actually get on with the rest of it. But one cool thing here, um, it does show that you can actually put the Vanguard Overboost unit onto other people, or other suits or whatever, other cores, armors, I don't know what they're called actually. Oh no. And here, um, you're gonna be putting in all those tubing parts. So good luck with that, good luck with me, I guess, I don't know. So yeah, so you can put it on multiple different kits. And here is your color guide. As you can see, we don't have many colors. We have blue, the, the white-ish color, kind of like a black, darker color of black, but they kind of give us the same color, and a very, very nice white white for the stabilizer unit fin thing. Inside here, more stuff. Um, yeah, very very good color splash page showing you where to put your decals, your decal guide. And looks like this in the back, very simple. Alright guys, that concludes part one of the review for the 170 second scale white glint and VOB set movie color version. That's a mouthful. And I hope you guys liked it. Um, we're going to try to keep these videos a little shorter. And thank you everyone that has subscribed and supported me. And for those of you who haven't already, please go and do so. It helps me out a lot. Likes and shares and comments make me feel very happy. Please make me feel happy. And yeah, thank you again. And I hope you guys like this. I will see you guys in the next part, guys. Peace out. And thank you.